Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Rat. I'm Ladrib. I'm Les Flaherty. And I'm PDevX. And today we are checking out kind of a new take on the Cinewhoop. This is essentially a five inch Cinewhoop. I've seen these before. I thought they were really cool and I've always wanted to build one. I thought it would be really cool for when you're outdoors mm -hmm. and like the Cinewhoop gets blown around a lot. You have a little more power with a five inch or maybe like that shot where you needed a five inch. You're getting too close to people maybe. And uh, you know, this keeps you safe. Yeah, do you fly Cinewhoops much? How much Cinewhooping do you do? I know you tear it up with the five inch. But... I do a little bit of Cinewhoop flying, mm -hmm. um, but not too much. So I, I tend to do a lot of chasing actually with my okay. Cinewhoop. We just like to fly them around parking lots and that kind of thing. Oh, so you fly, you fly your Cinewhoops outdoors, right? Yeah, a lot of flying outdoors, out in the, out in nature. Any trouble with that? I mean, like, how do they do usually? Yeah, I mean, they don't have the agility, right, of a five inch. Right. Um, do they get blown around in the wind, that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, my experience is Cinewhoops are amazing tools when you're flying in an enclosed area. Like, if you're flying through a warehouse or maybe a car museum, and Cinewhoops are perfect for that, where the subject is the environment you're flying around and it's contained and it's not going to be too agile and you're not gonna have a lot of wind because those those three inch ducted drones really get blown around a lot. They don't have a ton of power, but they're compact and they're very safe to fly around people. Yeah, they're like a sail out in the wind, but indoors they fly really well. Whereas one of our five inch drones, lots of speed, lots of power, lots of agility, um, but we you know we call them flying blenders. It can be very dangerous to fly a full five inch drone around people or other subject matter that could be damaged. I mean, you wouldn't want to fly a five inch drone like through the interior of a Mercedes because if you clip the leather seats, yeah. you're going to tear them up a bit. So I think this idea kind of came about that could you get some of the power and the agility of a five inch with some of the safety of a Cinewhoop, right? I'm really excited to see how this does because like I said, I haven't ever flown it before, but I, mm -hmm. I worry that bumping into something will make the prop stick mm -hmm. and maybe it'll fall out of control, or it's gonna get blown around a little bit more than a five inch. Yeah, my concern is this is not gonna have as much agility as we're hoping. It's not gonna be quite as good as a five inch. I'm worried that this is gonna be just like a compromise on both and that there's a reason we have three inch Cinewhoops and a reason we have five inch freestyle quads. Can you actually have one drone that does both? I don't know. I've never flown anything with more blades than three. And right. so it's, to me, I would think that it would fly like a heavy four inch, but then you've got the extra blades to kind of help you know, compensate for that. So just looking at it, I, it looks like it would rip. It looks like it's got a ton of power. Oh, I mean, it maybe you guys are right. Sweet. Maybe this, this thing is going to shred. I hope this is everything that I want it to be. It does look cool. If it flies half as good as it looks, we're going to have a good time. So let's get out there and see what this thing can do. All right, guys, we've come out to this office spot where we're going to try and orchestrate a kind of a one take shot that's going to put together a lot of different types of cinematic flying into one. I want you to do things that are out in the open air, uh, as well as having some proximity, some low speed stuff, some high speed stuff. Have you kind of start out there, come into the garage and meet up with me as I'm walking up to a motorcycle. I'm walking, that's really slow. Yeah. You can orbit me as I'm getting on, right? Getting the helmet on, all that stuff. But then when I take off, I'm gonna try and get up to speed pretty quickly so that we get that mix of slow and fast. I might struggle to keep up with you at that point, right? Cause well, we're gonna I'm... go from slow to a fast, well, I mean, Shot. I think you can handle it. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I think that's exactly what we're trying to do. Push against the capabilities of the drone. Like, I know that when we're in here and tight and doing the slow stuff, that's where Cinewhoops really, really shine. Mm -hmm. But when you take off and try and get up to speed, that's where it can be a little bit more of a struggle, right? Yeah. Well, maybe some acrobatic movements, right? Yeah, so. as well as higher altitude, where there's going to be more air turbulence. Yeah. So it'd probably be good to have you like start up high. You know, I think that's always a good way to start a shot is like up high with kind of more of like an establishing wide shot, right? Okay. Yeah, we can get a good shot of the city out there. Yeah, kind of like, like the looking skyline. out at the city. And then, I mean, this is a great just beautiful building with, with these glass windows. Uh -huh. I mean, of course, like we you need to dive, dive it. it. You gotta yes. dive it. You know, how smoothly you can do that with each different drum. I mean, it definitely lacks any sort of agility. I'm fighting it for every maneuver, unless, you know, I'm going slow. Yeah, um, I can see all of the corrections oh. in, the, in the screen. And right now the wind is actually, so I'm gonna oh, go up. Push it's pushing me sideways, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. All right, well, let's try, let's see them go up really high. Lots of bobbles. The there's the city. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna kinda look at the city. Oh yeah, there's the eyesore on I-4. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was, yeah, and that's some bobbles there. Yeah, I can see it in the goggles. It's just like side to side. Okay, it, uh, you wanna try to keep it as smooth as possible whatever you're doing cinematic. Go! And here comes Drew. All right, we're gonna orbit him. 
as he puts the helmet on, he's going to take off and exit the garage. All right. Oh, now that is right. harder to, yeah. yeah that I'm really, really giving it I think some this, throttle now. I think this is going to be tough. All right, here we go. Got to keep up. Oh, yeah, we're looking at the ground. Totally looking at the ground. Trying to keep up. Yeah. Yeah, we lost you. You actually went out of frame that time. And then we're going to go up towards the sky. All right. As Drew pulled And it's, away. Yeah, when I punch the throttle to go up, it's just bobbling oh, side yeah. to side. And I mean, it's going to re work really hard to fight it. Like, I could have timed it better, but there's no way, like, it was hard to catch up at that point. I think, you know, with, with a little more power, I could have just really caught up to you quick and then had less of a, you know, a distance. It seems like you just don't have the the headroom mm -hmm. to compensate for anything. So if you get behind, then you're playing catch up the whole time. Yeah. And then you're just kind of like. I don't know if you could hear us talking about the dive because you didn't have the helmet on, but like mm -hmm. he struggled. When he was way up high, the wind was like bobbling the thing all over yeah. the place. It was pushing him sideways. When he tried to angle for the dive, it was all over the place. And then trying yeah. to hit the gaps, he almost missed and hit the wall. I mean, if this is the only tool you have, then maybe mm -hmm. you, you could make it work, but it's yeah. definitely not the ideal tool. But you, it's just, you want the ducts, right? So if I had to choose between this and an unshrouded five inch, I'm, I'm going with that just because I'm not Safety. I'm not in a car. I really feel a lot more comfortable knowing that this is shrouded so that like if something went wrong, Nothing's gonna happen, but then you're you're less on power, and I think that's always kind of the one drawback to Cinewhoops. Want to have that protection, but also need that high speed capability. Doesn't seem to quite hold up, right? And yeah. then also the fact that the ducks act as a wind sail whenever the wind's blowing on it. You mm -hmm. know, that's the lack of power can't compensate for the wind that's pushing it sideways. I mean, this is exactly why we orchestrated the shot like this because we wanted to kind of push up against the limits of a Cinewhoop. So I want to break out the five inch drone with the ducks and see if it can handle any better. I'm concerned it's still just gonna be blown around yeah, by the hopefully wind, the, right? Hopefully the up in power will be able to compensate for the, the wind blowing the ducks around. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh, go right for it. All right, so we got the five inch ducted drone and this is my first time flying it and it is locked in. Oh, so oh my better, God, huh? way better. Nice. Way, way better. So I'm gonna go a little higher to, yeah, to make sure, but really I do high. not even see any bobbles. Looks like a Mavic shot, which is what our goal is, right? Oh, uh, okay, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so it's not quite a five inch. One thing I notice on this is it drifts a little more. Okay. Uh, maybe more because it has inch. more power. Um, so even when I drop the throttle, it seems to wanna. Well, I don't see a whole lot of bobbling though. No on. bobbles, that's for sure. So that's good. Oh yeah, okay, that it felt good. A little better. We Ooh. Said, whoa, so it's weird, it doesn't drop, it doesn't have that weight. I'm thinking I need to compensate. Yeah. Nope, nope, okay. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> if that was a uh, unshrouded five inch, I would have been freaking out. If that was, if it didn't have the ducks, I would have been freaking out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was in control the whole time. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Here, I'll give it one, one last try. Dive in the building. Coming down um, the dive. Okay, this is way better. So he wasn't able to like get away like he was last time. Okay, so you were able to keep up really well? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I like this. All right, well I'm happy. Here we go, here we go. If we went through kind of categorically some performance measurements like the high altitude when you were up there, the Cinewhoop was all over the place. Right. This was locked in. Yeah. When you were chasing me as I was speeding off, it was way easier with this. It was a lot easier to catch up to you. So if there was any instance where you were, you know, uh, getting ahead of me, uh -huh. then I was able to just close that gap a lot faster 
than on with the this Cinewhoop. On the flip side, when you were in tight spaces, the Cinewhoop definitely was easier to maneuver. You were complaining about the fact that this was a little yeah. more bobbly indoors than the Cinewhoop was. I think this is moving more air, right? So when you're in the tight space, it's kind of more subject to getting kind of blown around by its own stuff, right? right? Yeah, and it's got the extra weight as well. It's not that you're lacking any confidence. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, you're working the throttle a little bit more to try to keep a steady height, which is like the opposite of what happens with the Cinewhoop, right? Like outside, like so the Cinewhoop outside, you're struggling to maintain that height because it's getting knocked around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one was locked in, it felt more like close to a five inch than a than a Cinewhoop and was able to smoothly maneuver without, you know, the, the vertical play mm -hmm. because of, you know, trying to adjust the throttle to compensate. I feel like in freestyle category, like if you were to just freestyle them both, I definitely think this one had the advantage. Yeah, I think this that wins compared wins to a Cinewhoop. Category. But if oh. you compare this to an actual five inch, you know not, what I mean? Not, not even, even close. close, not yeah. even close. So like this addresses kind of like a very like narrow specific need. Exactly. But I do think that there are studios. I mean, we've, we've built these for a few studios that we work with and they love this thing. There are certain shots that they do where kind of getting those just little advantages of, of having more wind resistance, being able to fly higher, fly outside and have higher speeds while also being shrouded. I mean, there are some shoots where the client just says, hey, it's our requirement that you have to have prop guards and they still want you to chase a car. When you're hired to do a job, that's kind of the client's prerogative. If that's what they're comfortable with, like you, you need to meet their needs. So in that case, I mean, this works really well for that. When we had that, uh, that wall bonk and this thing kind of flipped out and you know shot toward me, you disarmed, it was, no, you did everything fine. You disarmed, and even if it was an unshrouded five inch, I would have been fine because you disarmed the prop stopped. But seeing it come at me and knowing that I had the prop guards, I did feel a lot more comfortable, which is exactly why we were using this. So in those very specific cases where you need kind of those compromises, great option. It's a great option. So I think we will carry these ducks. And if you guys want to experiment with this yourself, you can get a set of these for not all that much. Throw them on a five inch quad you already have. Yeah. Try it out, see what you think. I mean, if you're a professional and you're in the business, this is a very small investment to have in your arsenal. That's when true. you're considering you how expensive your shoots yeah. are, and you know, you've got all these things in your arsenal just in case you need them, mm -hmm. can't hurt. Yeah. Or if you've already got a five inch that you want to convert, right? Like you don't want to fully invest in buying a Cinewhoop and you're just getting started, this is a great way to get in. And if you do like it, then maybe you do end up building a whole Cinewhoop or buying a Cinewhoop, whatever, right? I think we got some pretty cool shots. You made me look really good speeding off. Hope you guys had a good time. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, let us know. Guys, I'm Ladrib. I'm Let's Play RC. I'm PDevX. We'll see you next time on Rotor Riot.